Okay, so we are here in Microsoft um, Microsoft Windows Server 2012. Uh, we are in the book for exam 70-412. And today we're doing activity 5-8, testing access to a folder. So we've done everything up to this point. Now it says you're ready to test access to the marketing folder. First, you need to join the 412 Win 8 computer to the domain. Then you log onto the domain from the 412 Win 8 computer with the accounts you created in Activity 5.6 and try to access files in the marketing folder. To start, start on 412.01 if necessary and start the 412 Windows 8 machine and log into it as the Windows 8 user with the password of password 01. And then once we get logged in, we are going to go into the internet options and change the preferred DNS um, server on the ethernet interface to 412 server one's IP address. So let's log in here first, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D-01. And then we'll go ahead and go in and change the preferred DNS server, which we will go here. And we'll go into the Ethernet. And properties. We're going to go to IP4 properties and the DNS server. The 10, 12, 1, 2, the book says 1, but because we have a different instructor, uh, he wanted us to do 10, 12, 1, 2. Anyway, so it's already set to this, um, which I was probably doing when I was troubleshooting my issues with the last chapter. So we'll close all that. And then we'll go into the system. And next to computer name, click change settings, which I am already did this part two. In the system properties dialog box, click the change button and click the domain option and type 412.dom1.local and click OK. So yeah, I've already done that. So click OK. We'll just click cancel. So we're already connected to the domain. Um, in the Windows security dialog box, type administrator for the username and password 01. Oh, yes, because you'll need credentials to change domains. You have to actually put in the access or, you know, to access the domain, you need to be an administrator on that domain. So then click OK twice and then the computer slash computer name slash domain changes message box click OK, then click Close, and then the computer restarts. So, since we skipped all that part, let's move on. When the computer restarts, we're going to have to log off. Uh, when the computer restarts, click the back arrow, click Other User, and log in as Accounting 1. And then password 01. Preparing your profile might take a while, so hopefully that doesn't. And since I'm not on my dual monitors, I'm not, I'll have to search for my control to push pause. Okay, so now it says run your command window and type 
who am I? Space forward slash C O A I M S and press enter. And it says department string is accounting. This command displays and claims the user present to care cur Burroughs hmm. for authorization, the client group policy you configured in activity 5-4 wasn't set, so you wouldn't see any claims information. You should see an indication that the department attribute is accounting because you didn't set the job title attribute for accounting one. No claim is configured for this attribute. Right click start and click run. And then type in Black black four one two server one in the open text box and click OK. Double click the marketing share. You should see a message indicating you don't have permission to access the share, which is correct because your department attribute isn't marketing. Click close. Log off and log back in as marketing one. And then we're going to do the same thing. Pause it first. We're going to click cancel, right click, start, and then um, hang on just a second. Oh, CMD. So in our command prompt, let's say, who am I? Slash claims. You should see that marketing one has department equals marketing and job title equals manager claims. So there's department and it equals marketing job title manager. So we'll get out of here. We will right click start uh, and run and we are going to type in back back for 12 server and then double click on the marketing share. And you see the low confidential file. You don't see the high confidential file because only marketing executives have access to this. And so marketing executives has, can access files with high confidentiality. Open the low confidentiality file, type some characters in. And then try to save it. A, a save as dialog box opens because you don't have permissions to write to the file. You can't create a new file either because you have only read permissions to the marketing folder. Click cancel. Close all open windows and log off and log in as executive one. Don't save we don't want to create a new document so there we go sign out other user and we're signing in exec And then 
verify this user can open, change, and save both low and high confidentiality files in the marketing folder. So then once all that, that's done, then that'll be the end of the video. So let's get this party moving. Get this whatever, you know, you done. Okay, let's run the MD. Who am I? Slash C L A I M S. Here's the department marketing title executive. Okay, we got that. Now we're going to run again and we're going to go like 412 server one. And we're going to go into the marketing. And we have access to both high and low confidentiality files. We're going to write something in them. And save. And exit. And then we're going to go into this one. And we're going to write something else in here. Save and close. When we open that back up, that's still in there, and we'll open this back up, and that's still in there. So, step 10, it says, well, let's read back through number 9. Um, open the low confidentiality file, type some characters in it, then try to save it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm the wrong one. Verify that this user can open, change, and save both low con low confidential and high confidential files in the marketing folder. Close all open windows, shut down 412 Windows 8, and stay logged on to server 1 if you're continuing to the next activity, which I am, but you're not, so that's it for you guys. And uh, have a good night.